Well, this is uh, do not water bottles on uh, beds. Um, apple cider vinegar week. Uh, this week they get uh, they'll get a week on apple cider vinegar. Uh, rotating, obviously around multivitamins, etc. Primalac. Primalac's the key. Primalac's the bulls and bees and knees. It's the best product. Never no more. But yeah, that's what we do anyway. We Primalac them. We also use that Michael uh, Mick. Um, if you it's something like that. Uh, we use his products. Well, all for one and one for all. It's basically it's same as Quill Boost. Um, brilliant stuff. Um, keeps pathogens down. I also use another stuff of his. It's like a liquid iodine stuff, which I put it waters. I wear using it every day, but it's, it's not cost effective like that. But uh, it's all right twice a week. And then obviously use your cider vinegar in conjunction. Um, and a week of Primalac and a week of multivitamin. Um, our team's out at the minute, flying round. Um, old birds. Just stayed on radio, we might be three weeks, we might be lifting a ban. Now, if they lift ban to send people to work, then surely they've got to lift ban on pigeon racing. Um, as our team, they've got to lift ban on pigeon racing, surely. But we'll have to see about that. I mean, it's 58 there, ready for panniers, ready to be trained. Uh, they go out twice a day. Um, they do all right. You know, quite happy way they've been flying. We've had an hour now, so. I still keep going around till I open Bobo. Um, I might want the breakfast. But, yeah, they're ready, like, team there. They're cocked and dense, natural. So, you know, we've got plenty to work at. Plenty to go at. Um, I just trying to enjoy it best we can. I'm itching, I'm chomping at bit like everybody else is, absolutely chomping at bit, but it's to get raced and trained and everything else. But it's more important that uh, we get this pandemic out of the way as best we can, or survive it best we can, because a lot more of us are going to die yet. Um, but uh, let's be positive. Um, pigeons are flying well. Um, everything's all right at a minute. Um, not much else to report, but like I said, we're glad when we get them down the road, 40 mile a day or something like that, um, get them moving, you know, kick start the brains in, start them short, take them long, you know, once we've had two or three short ones, take them, take them a bit further, a bit further, a bit further, uh, can't tell you everything, but it's what it is. I think it'll be nice to get actually get back racing, training. There's a lot of people, you know, you're fed up this, fed up that. Oh, but it's more important that human life goes on and not pigeon racing as such. But I read in threads over the next 10 years it'll be finished. It won't be finished. They've been saying that since 1980s. You know, another 10 years it'll be finished. 1990s, another 10 years it'll be finished. Year 2000, another 10 years it'll be finished. And it's still going. So, you know, you're in a lot of phases. I think it won't just end up one loft racing at all. No, this is a, it's a dying spot, as I say, but, you know, there's all those young ones coming up into it. I think federations will get smaller, without a doubt, and I do think all clubs, small minor clubs, should combine now and make one large club in our area now. There's only one real club, which is our club. Other ones just a marking station for NEPC. Well, Pigeon Club Federation is the merge now. I think it's 27, 28, whatever, members in it, flying members, sending members, so it's still a strong club, you know. But... Times have changed where you had 10 clubs in a village and things like that, or two or three clubs in a town, and it's changed. We had, I mean, there used to be three clubs here, I think four clubs, one and one, two. Yeah, two or three clubs used to be here, then it went down to two, then one. Now there's just us now, Fox Hills. Fox Hills, Ashby Cons, Coronation. There used to be three, now it's just uh, Fox Hills. Uh, Ashby Cons, now it's just a marking station. NEPC, his wife again taking a cider vinegar into birds. Making sure they're all topped up. Um, apple cider vinegar keeps pathogens down at water, pHs as well, keeps uh, canker down, uh, you know, many other things. Keeps system clean inside, keeps birds healthy because uh, it's acidic. Uh, that's what it's for. That's what apple cider vinegar does.
kills funguses and spores and intestinal tracts and such on. So that's all done. There's them stock birds got watered, love. She'll do them all. I don't really I try to keep out at loss as much as I can. She spends some time with these birds, mate. She does, guys. I'd be lost without her because I couldn't function how we do with having to PFL and COPD. And pigeons are immaculate, you know. I tell her what to feed and how to feed and what we're doing, what we're having in water and all that. And so I've made it easy with all auto boxes that off there. I'll have them all in soon, They're all paid for. Just went to go pick them up and get them in. Um, a bit stuck at minute, but we won't be. But yeah, cracking job. Absolutely cracking job. A lot of alterations to happen this year. So I want to build a new loft. I want it 10 foot deep. 10 foot deep, six foot high. I hope the corridor out of that one. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be whatever. As long as it's got a corridor in it, but 10 foot deep would be a lot better. Um, but I'll have middle partition sliders as well as um, intersections at front and shut it down to sections. We'll do all that when we come to it. I don't believe in solid walls, I like to take them out. Um, I like airflow, but people say, Oh, but they can see each other. Well, it doesn't matter what we do with cocks, it drives them fucking bonkers. Um, it's, it's a motivational thing. You don't harm them, don't hurt them. You can block them down if you want them on different systems, and you obviously you block your ends away, but that's about it. Well, there you go, pigeons are still going. So anyway, guys, it's not a very informative film today. Saturday's going to be the, a good one. Um, we're going to a bit more depth in other things, but... Uh, there we go guys, balsam loss. Thanks for watching. Cheers.